Someone said that I would be the, I would finish the test after three minutes, which I really appreciate. Best laugh comes to mind. It says, has, has a 10 pack. Compliments of Gas, the wildly popular new social media app that has millions of teenagers complimenting each other or gassing each other up. Finn, Nikki, William, and Brandon go to New York City's Stuyvesant High School, where nearly 900 students are on the app. When you open up your phone, how does it make you feel? Great, because I think people are noticing little details about me that I thought they didn't know about. You know like when a random person compliments you on your street and it's like really nice? Yeah, <laughs> so yeah it's really like that. I got one that stated that Taylor Swift would write a love song about me and <laughs> I just had a smile on my face. <laughs> like this person gets me. <laughs> The four sophomores showed me how it works. First, users anonymously answer a series of polls about their friends. Cutest little sneeze. Oh. The polls range from thoughtful superlatives. Has the kindest heart. Oh. To flirty confessions. You would ask them out if they were taken. When a student is picked, they get a notification or a flame, but no name of the person who voted. It's anonymous. Stop. So I try to, you know, do a little background digging. A little digging? A little digging? Uh, just a little bit. <laughs> a little. Part of the reason gas is resonating, it's authentic to this generation. It speaks their language. Can we spit facts? So no. Sure. Translation, you speak the truth. Drip on that. Translation, you have good style. Looks like a whole meal. Translation, extremely attractive. Gas is the brainchild of former Facebook manager Nikita Beer. He says he made the app to spread positivity and improve self-esteem of teens. There's a lot of toxic things about today's social networks, and we just wanted a place where you could just open your phone and see something that makes you feel better about yourself. Launched in three states in August, it took just one month for Gas to shoot to the top of the U.S. App Store. It's now nationwide, and Beer says their feedback shows it's making a difference. We get messages every day from teens, hundreds of them, uh, about the impact it's had. It's helped with their depression, their anxiety. Even some have told us that they've reconsidered self-harm. Wow. Can you expand on that a little bit? When you're uh, in your formative years as a teen, you're trying to understand uh, how you're being perceived. What GAS has done is it provides a venue for you to open up to your friends and say what you love about each other. And that has enabled people to feel they fit in, that, they, that they're liked by their peers. How nice is that, to I, have an app and a space that just feels fun? Uh, it's absolutely amazing. I check it when I wake up. So when I wake up, I'm like, there's like 10 people that said, I love your hair. Nice, best smile. I walk down the halls and I feel a little bit better about myself. In just five months, more than one and a half billion compliments have been delivered through gas. Just since we've been talking, tell me about the notifications you got. Would make an ugly face and still look pretty. Oh. Would ditch studying for finals for a concert, which <laughs> you if would. it was a Taylor Swift you concert. Yeah, you yes. would. Baby, you're my firework. Oh. oh. I want to know who sent that might be the sole reason for global warming. I don't know who this is. Oh, it's supposed to mean like you're hot. Yeah. Not oh, like wait, actually. No. Oh, that's yeah. what it, what it, so many compliments. I like the glasses. Thanks. <laughs> Gen Zers kindling kindness and sparking positivity. One flame at a time. All right, so maybe you're a parent and you're wondering, you know, what do I need to know about here? It seems really sweet. So there are a few things. There are no ads, which is good news, but teens can make this in-app purchase to learn who voted for them, get this hint if they want to find out, although they all told me that's not cool because the whole idea is that it's anonymous. And there's also no direct messaging. So no one who maybe doesn't know your child can't message them in the way they can on other apps. And really, all you do is vote on polls that are already pre-written about your friends. And also, you might be thinking, what if you're not getting any? What if you feel left out? If a student hasn't been picked, the app will surface that name at a higher frequency so that they don't feel left out at something that the app calls sharing the love. Oh, Everybody like gets that. a trophy. Oh, yeah. I like it. I hope this Sweet. becomes a fad, where, especially because yeah. there is so much, like you said, toxicity mm -hmm. in teen social media. Yeah. Yeah. But teen depression, those numbers are crazy yeah. in the mental health yeah. sector. Yeah. Yeah. And to have something positive for mm -hmm. that generation would be great. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's cool. good. Or just great do job. it without an app. Just, yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. I know. You know well, they did tell yeah. me it's made them compliment each other in real life more because they have a little confidence to say something that otherwise they might feel sort of awkward about. So they're like, well, I'm getting used to it. Okay. <laughs> cool. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Thanks, Savannah. Thank you. Good Thank job, Savannah. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you guys look great. You're incredible. This is a great class. <laughs> Nobody's <laughs> better than you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.